Oh, tripped over the steel. Look, yeah, uh, this here is the bottom of the rabbit cage today. Viewers, how you going? <laughs> today I'm going to be building new rabbit cages. Um, I'm doing, changing the whole layout of my cage, making it a lot more airy, a lot more uh, feel cleaner, will be easier to clean, and feed and water the animals. And the idea is trying to make it so that Mixo or Khaleesi is not going to hurt my rabbits as easily as the last two times. So, first things first, I'll build the cage. And that's what I'm going to do here. So what I've done now, you can see that one there, that's the main bottom. There's a side, there's a side, there's a top. There's an end panel, uh, intermediate panels, and the, another end panel. So it's all ready to go. I've cut them all up. I still have to put doors, etc. But that's the, I suppose all the templates. Now I've just got to put them together. I'll show you how I do that. If you look closely here, these, you put the most steel round pieces on the top. These little ones underneath, put them on the bottom. That way they have a nice soft pad for them. This one is 600 wide, 3.8 long. This is in millimeters. Now, I'm going to put the on the sides up first, which are six, um, which are 450 high, and I'll put those in next. So what I'm going to do here, because this side panels are only three meters maximum length, so I don't know. They, this was specially made. I, like I said, he got it good price, and I got it off a good price, and he got it by bulk, got it cheaper. Um, so I don't want to cut it down. I thought about it because it's 3.8. If I cut it down to three meters, I've 800. So I put them together. I end up with two bars there, and it's not going to be very. Um, as it can be more likely manure to get stuck on, so I'm going to go with a 3.8. Uh, cage is going to drop 50 mil shorter, and I'll end up with um, 950 cages, which is standard anyway. So at 950, because of that, I've just moved that with 400 each and hanging off the end. The reason I'm doing that, I'll add a little bit on each end. I don't want anything joining in the same spot. Some people might just go, well, all this wires three meters, three meters up here, three meters up there, three meters across here, um, and then you have joints, and it's going to get floppy. I'll make that one 400 off each end, because that'll be the back. The front will run a, um, a, an 800 piece and a three meter piece, but when I put the top on, I'll move it so that it doesn't join over the same line, just like you do in putting timber down, you don't, you stagger them, you don't just have one big line across. I couldn't find the little, my C-clips. This is a larger version of it, and it's automatic, I just go bang, 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 bang. This one's a bit too loose for this type of cage. Um, the one I, I just got, I don't know where to put it, look, look, this is the back of my vehicle. How do I find anything? <laughs> anyway, it's just an old basher. Um, yeah, so I just put some C clips down there. The reason I did that on the ground, it was easier than trying to hold this up by myself and put these panels in. So now this is at 950. I C clip this one up and it's good to go. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the dividers in all the way along. The dividers in all the way along here. I boxed it up as you can you, you knew I was doing. Because I didn't want all joining in the one place, I put this one in the middle, the side panel, and added two pieces at one on each end. And on the other, I ran a full sheet and stopped uh, just shy of one of these holes here on the other side. And what that did is it staggered the joins and on the top I ran it three meters and then 
I joined it, as you can see here, there. <laughs> so it's all been matched up. Um, I made the door holes to suit, so I can get, don't forget, you always got to make it so that you can put your um, nest box in. These are big holes. I could make it bigger, but I wanted to use this for strength. I had three loops on the bottom, three, one, two, three, and three at the top. Um, that gives me a good lot of strength. And uh, I made the hole for my f um, feeder here. And uh, I've got to get better latches, of course. Uh, this is the silly thing. You've got fantastic latches over in America. Oh, most people who have rabbits, mainly in America. I, I, so, uh, she subscribed to me. And they are like about a dollar. But to get them here, they went 10 bucks for one. And they charge, and put it this way, if I want to get 10 over, it's got to be about 20 odd dollars, $29 or something like that, something ridiculous. So I'm going to wait till I go over to, go over to America next and uh, I'll buy myself a ton of them because they're, <laughs> they're tiny little things. The, money, the amount of money to get it over here is ridiculous. So, yeah. So that's what's done now. I've done that as you can see. Um, I will put feeders on, the, on here. I'll put them on the front of that door. The hay feeders I'm talking about. Um, what I've done, I've put holes in the back here where I can put my piping through. Um, yep. Now, what I've done also is I got it did something a little different to what I normally do. I'll come down and show you in here. But if you look here, I put tin on in here. All that up there is the tin. Um, it does stop a bit of airflow, but my ours galvanised iron, a galvanised tin, uh, so that the rabbits, if they get infected by, hopefully, if they if they did get infected by Khaleesi or myxomatosis. I'll be able to, um, they're less likely to touch each other. See, because it spreads by touch and by fly, and a fly could fly from here, and it could fly over to there. But this at least stops their bod bodily functions and uh, their touching of each other, causing the spread of the virus. And uh, that will help. Um, because I found that it'll hit here or hit over there, and next second, the one next to it gets it. Now, yes, it could be spread by the fly or mosquito or rat or something, but it's, it's uh, touching each other is uh, the main thing. And a rabbit comes up, they lay against the cage, they lay across there, and before they know it, they're touched. So I made it in gal, and uh, you can probably see better coming in from this way. Um, and that hole up there is to put the water plumbing through. So this should help them be protected. Secondly, by doing it in this rather than timber, which I've done in the past, is timber is porous and it, it soaks up the urine in that. Now they can pee all they want in here and they won't pee on, pee on their friends. That's the other problem you have with wire cages, rabbits they urinating on each other. So, and make them look, you know, you get a lovely white rabbit and it's yellow. Um, I didn't want to breed yellow uh, New Zealands. <laughs> We're going to do this when we yep. have that. Yeah, I'm going to cut those So, so, today. Well, so I've built this part here on top. Started out with just putting a box around the bottom. Put some uprights. Put this, uh, put these on top. Put this brace across. Then after that, then I put this angle bit in here. That gave this forcibility because that sagged too much. This support under here and here. So now this is all strong. I'll put some tin down through here to the other side. And that way the manure it falls down, palletized, rolls off, drops down. Hay will not roll off. You can get a bit of blockage, but then you go along with the hose and you give it a wash. Now I'm going to I'm going to paint that in gal paint, and uh, 
Bob's your uncle. So, just got to flip it over and do the other side. Okay, we're upgrading it. That's the frame I made. Well, actually, it's not the frame I made. I'll start that again. That's the cage I just made. This is a repurposed one. I've put like I said, I put the nice panelling on the front and left the old rusty part to the back. I put a, I made a frame up just like the one I made for that one and put it on here. Here you can see where the manure falls from the bunny, hits the tin, rolls down, not all of it, but most of it rolls down and hits the back, falls down slides down that and into there so that's really good so that's nice and neat i use these j boxes here uh what well, i got from some other cage got from those type of cages and i put them up top because it's easier because it's um they're a lot they're a better the better one than this type but it's still these still work but that's better at emptying the rubbish so anyway uh yeah so there you've got it i just got to build i just got to build more now and once i build it built more um all my rabbits will be happy so i hope you liked what you've seen if you do, give it a big thumbs up, please subscribe and ring that notification bell. Because remember, without you there's no me and I like being here. And my rabbits like it being here. And my donkeys and my alpacas and my geese and my ducks. They all tell me they love you. Oh, and pigeons. So, catch you later. Bye.